This stained glass image shows the martyrdom of saints Ewald the Black, and Ewald the Fair. It is quite possible that two people have the same name. However, both of them to study in the same place, do the same work and become martyrs on the same day, and to be venerated as saints, is somewhat unusual. Today, 3rd October, the Church celebrates the feast of Saints Ewald, the Black and Ewald, the White. Welcome to the Saint of the Day. They were late 7th century missionary martyrs, both named Ewald. To distinguish them, people called them Ewald the Black and Ewald the Fair, based on hair color and complexions. These natives of Northumbria, Northern England, studied together in Ireland. Ewald the Black was more learned, but both were considered models of holiness. They were friends of Saint Willibrord, the Apostle of Netherlands, who inspired them to work as missionaries in Old Saxony, a region in Germany. They started working there in 690 staying in the house of the steward of a Saxon earl. For days, the steward entertained them, promising to take them to the chieftain, whom they were planning to convert to Christianity. While they told no one their plan, the two Ewalds prayed often and celebrated Mass and the Liturgy of the Hours. When the Saxons realized the plan to convert the chieftain, they decided to kill them. Ewald the Fair was done to death at one stroke. Ewald the Black was tortured, torn him apart, and then threw both bodies into the Rhine River on October 3rd at Plebeck. A chapel in their honor can still be seen there. Subsequently Tillman, their monk companion found and buried the bodies. When Pepin, Duke of Austrasia, heard he had the bodies moved to St. Cunibert Church in Cologne. Archbishop Anno of Cologne gave their heads to Bishop Frederick of Munster when their shrine opened in 1074. When St. Norbert visited Cologne in 1121, he received relics of several saints, including the two Ewalds, which he placed at an Norbertine monastery in either Primunter, or, Florf, in Namur, 